Welcome to the Bahamas. When you think about the Bahamas, a couple things come to mind, right? You think cruise ships, you think all-inclusive resorts, and expensive price tags. But I'm gonna show you how you can do Nassau Bahamas on the cheap. What's up everyone? I'm Rochelle and welcome to Adventure is Never Far Away. It's possible to have a life full of adventures. Subscribe and come along as I show you that adventure is never far away. One of the first things is to save money when visiting NASA, to use your feet. NASA doesn't have Uber. I don't know why it doesn't, but they do have taxis, but taxis can add up. So I'm saving those taxi rides for when I am dead tired, super far away, and I don't want to take the bus. Plus one of the advantages of walking instead of driving is you get to actually look at everything. When you drive by, if you pay attention, you rarely get to see all the colors, all the character, and all the people that you get to pass. Plus, you get the added adventure of walking on terrible sidewalks. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. So the next tip is there's gonna be tons of tours that are offered around the Bahamas. One of the things you can do to save money is to do your own walking tour. Na downtown Nassau is incredibly uh, user friendly. It's very walkable. Um, the only downside is it's right next to the cruise port. So I am here at the Queen Staircase with all of my close friends and their strollers. But it's still really fun. It's still really pretty. And the benefit of doing it on your own is you can, like I'm doing right now, I went and got a coconut and I'm just sitting in the shade, just kind of enjoying where I am. So if you want my detailed, my cultivated walking tour that I've put together for NASA, I'll go ahead and link that below. I did write up a blog post about it because there's a lot to see. And if you really want to know the culture, the history of this town, it's definitely worth it. So another way to save money on your trip to the Bahamas is to be intentional about where you stay, which accommodations you're going to book. Now, for example, I booked a dorm, a bed in a dorm in a hostel. So for an entire week, I'm going to be paying about half of what people at one of the all-inclusive resorts are paying for one day. Now, I understand that not everybody can stay in a hostel. It does take a certain type of traveler and that's okay, but you really want to consider what it is that you're paying for. If you want to stay in an all-inclusive, you have to understand that that's going to cost a ton of money and that's probably where you're going to be wanting to spend the most of your time so that you get the most for your buck. However, if you just need a place to crash for the night, if you just need a place to rest your feet, to take a nice shower and to store all your stuff. You want to check out some budget locations, such as renting an Airbnb, renting a room, checking out some guest houses, or if you're not sure, you can do a little bit of both. You can stay in a budget accommodation and book a couple nights in an all-inclusive. It's all about your priorities. Another way to save money when you go to the Bahamas is you want to try cooking for yourself um, every, every couple of meals. Eating out can get expensive no matter where you are, but especially on an island where they have to import the majority of your things, and especially if you are used to creature comfort. To cut down on costs, if you have access to a kitchen, it helps to cook meals. Last night I made a huge thing of pasta and I got a couple of vegetables, and I was able to have that for dinner last night, and then feed um, one of my friends and myself a really good lunch today before we headed out. And it doesn't have to be a super bougie meal. I mean, if you're looking in the cupboards, I mean, I've bought a ton of <laughs> ramen and pasta, which to be honest, at the end of a long night, sometimes it's all you need before you crash. So for me in particular, I need to have 
protein in the morning to kind of get my day going. So what I did was, believe it or not, eggs here are cheaper than they are in the States. I bought, keep that open. I bought a dozen eggs and I pan fried a couple of them the first day, but then I just hard boiled the rest of them. So in the mornings I just fill a couple hard boiled eggs with some salt and some Tabasco or something and I'm good to go. Let's put these back in. My next tip on how to save money when you come to the Bahamas is to do a little pre-planning when it comes to your excursions. Yes, the beaches here are free, but if you don't wanna just sit at a different beach every day, which is fine, you're gonna be paying a lot of money. So before you come to the Bahamas, you wanna take a second and you wanna think about, okay, what is it that I want to do? Do I want to go scuba diving? Do I want to go snorkeling? Do I want to swim with the pigs? Do I want to feed the rays? Do I want to just go on... Do I just want to go on a boat ride? Have an idea of what it is that you want to do because once you get here, it's really easy to get swept up in being in the Bahamas and wanting to go on all the excursions that cost at minimum $200 a pop. I opt for a little bit of both couple of free excursions. I cultivated my own walking tour, went to a beach. I have been gifted a pass to the Atlantis Resort, which honestly was thinking about paying for it. And I think it's like $250 for the day. I'm gonna go check it out today. And if I like it, it works out, I'll go tomorrow as well. But just know that when you come to the Bahamas, you are going to be spending money to do stuff. Again, you just want to hang out at the beach more power to you that's free if you want a, an umbrella some chairs might cost you a little extra but in the grand scheme of things paying for a couple hours of a chair and an umbrella is a little less expensive than a full day excursion for $500 And sometimes you just get real lucky and have really awesome friends who give you really awesome gifts. Or just some random guy that you met at a hostel a couple days ago. And now you don't have to pay $250 to get in here. So that's it. Those are just a couple of ways that you can save money when you come to the Bahamas for your vacation. Now obviously the Bahamas is not what you would call a traditional budget destination. It's not a place that gets a lot of backpackers because it is so expensive, because things have to be imported, because you typically have to go to other places or other islands in order to go on excursions. But it's possible to save money and it's possible to do things on a budget. So hopefully these tips can help you on your next trip to the Bahamas to help you save money, whatever your travel style is. Till our next adventure.